By 2045, oh, scary. we will be producing 40% less in There's early 20th century. There is no vegetation up there. That, to what you're that getting is a from the bit alarming. Now. Because oh because my gosh. Our populations will be 9.3 billion people. 40% less food than what we are producing right now, then you have forsaken the planet in many ways. We are talking about climate change. Conscious practice. What's conscious? This is Vish and <laughs> Emma, Jamie Lynn, Ivana, Carmel, Aisha, Zaina, Brandon. And today we'll be responding to Sadhguru's video on what is the biggest threat to our, to our lives. My name is Vish. I'm an aspiring yogi. Love all things yoga, meditation, wisdom, mission based. Want to introduce yourself? So I'm a therapist. I primarily work with couples and people who want to either do trauma recovery work or things related to sexuality. I am from El Paso, Texas. Currently I'm living here studying journalism. I'm a civil engineering major from a small town in Dallas. I'm a BS in psychology and I'm from Arkansas. I'm a nutrition and speech language path double major and I'm from Dallas. I'm a fifth year rhetoric and writing major from Dallas, Texas. I'm Emma. Um, I'm a student here at UT, a freshman and I'm really excited to be in this video. Have you heard of a guy named Sadhguru by any chance? Nope. I have not. I have not. And with that, let's get into the video. 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 Let's watch. We are talking about climate change, carbon emissions, and global warming and various other aspects. But we are not addressing soil. Soil is the habitat upon which zillions of lives thrive. Once there is no richness in soil, then you have forsaken the planet in many ways. Every responsible scientist in the world and the UN agencies are clearly saying we have only eighty to hundred harvests left. That means approximately forty-five to fifty years of agricultural soil left on the planet. By 2045, we will be producing 40% less food than what we are producing right now and our populations will be 9.3 billion people. The food shortages that could manifest in the next 25 years, the consequences of that is unimaginable. Civil wars will unfold across the world once there is food shortage. What we are facing now is soil extinction. Why is soil becoming extinct? Where is it going away? What is happening to our soil? We must understand if you add organic content to sand, sand will turn into soil. If you remove all organic content from the soil, soil will become sand. In normal agricultural soil, the minimum organic content should be between three to six percent. The most minimum is three percent. At least this minimum to keep the soil alive, to keep the soil as living soil is a must. Agricultural soils across the world, the depletion is so heavy. In most countries, more than fifty percent of the topsoil is already gone in the last hundred years. The nutrient levels have dropped significantly. The level of micronutrients you would get from your food in early twentieth century to what you are that getting from the same alarming. food now has dropped ninety percent. If you ate one orange in 1920s, what you got from it, now in 2020, if you have to get the same, you will have to eat eight oranges. This is what we have done to our food. Soil is the biggest oh ecosystem on the planet and so few people know anything about it. One teaspoon of healthy soil probably contains more microbes than there are people on earth. The microbial life in the first twelve to fifteen inches of topsoil is the basis of our existence. It is this magic beneath our feet which has produced the life that we are. This first twelve to fifteen inches of soil is the basis of life for eighty-seven percent of life on this planet, including you and me. We have to begin to recognize that 
what we call our soil, Mother Earth, is a living organism. Open soils, ripped open by plowing, open to sunlight, is the basis of destruction of microbial life. So the focus should be on agriculture, the focus should be on seeing that land is under shade as much as possible. Some kind of shade, grasses, herbs, bushes, trees. Conscious Planet is launching Save Soil Movement to bring about a policy change to regenerate soil. As a part of this, <laughs> I'm sixty-five and I'm riding thirty thousand kilometers, a lone motorcycle journey, thirty thousand kilometers across twenty-four nations to activate support from the citizenry to assure the governments long-term investments will be appreciated. So it's extremely important that soil regeneration is enshrined in the policy of every government on the planet. We must change the narrative on the planet that soil is a wealth, a legacy we have received from previous generations and we have to pass it on as living soil for future generations. We are in a cusp of time, if you do the right things now, in the next fifteen to twenty-five years, we can significantly turn this situation around and regenerate the soil. But if we allow this to progress like this for another thirty to forty years, after forty years if we attempt this, then it could take hundred and fifty to two hundred years because that much loss of biodiversity would have happened. From twenty-first of March for one hundred days, the whole world, every human being on the planet should talk soil. We must hear the word soil, save soil everywhere to see that the narrative on the planet changes towards the most vital aspect of our life, the soil. Each one of you should reach as many people as you can to make this happen. Many global leaders and influencers are already participating in the movement. Be a part of this and let us make it happen. From my part, uh, as much as I can contribute. We are going to save the soil. Do your part. And saving the soils. Our future, our children's future, and our planet's future depend on it. Save the soil. We know what we must do, so let's make it happen. 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 So, Jamie Lynn, what's your first take? It surprised me. I was not expecting soil to be the answer. And then I immediately was like, of course, of course, <laughs> of course that's the answer. Like, it's what we all need in order to exist here on this planet. And it is something that we've been pulling the nutrients out of for literally generations. And so the fact that they're talking about it is refreshing because I've actually never heard anyone talking about this before. Like, not not at this scale anyway. Like, we talk about how monocultures and farming in that way is really bad for the planet, but we don't actually, like, get into what are we doing to the soil and what's been changing globally when it comes to soil health. So, amazing. My first take, it was definitely super inspiring. Like, I, def I definitely agree with everything that he said. And, like I said, like, going back to, like, media, I feel like media portrays that, like, oh, like, climate change isn't a thing and like, you know, we're doing fine or whatever. But when I heard that information where the, the one with the oranges and like, you know, oh, like A is equal to one. Yeah, that's that crazy. Insane. I, I didn't know that. So I was completely surprised by that. So yeah, it just ties back into the thing about how like the media lies and how they try to like mask that everything's fine. And like, you know, it just doesn't leave people to prompt to do like good things like that or to be aware of things of like, like that. Uh, I agree with it, um, and I have seen this, this guy before, but he wasn't talking about soil. He's talking more about, um, more, uh, uh, I'd say things that have... To wisdom? Do. Yeah, wisdom. And, you know, every time I see him on uh, TikTok, I'll watch the whole video. Uh, but yeah, I do agree, because uh, my mom, uh, for the most part, has shown me, like, how important um, growing your own crops and stuff is. She grows this stuff. Uh, she grows plants in the in the backyard to use to eat uh, in the kitchen all the time. And How would you compare those to like the ones from the store, the the vegetables that she grows? Um, I'd say they're they they do taste a little better, 
Um, but they, I mean, it's not as convenient because, you know, uh, like the video said, uh, soil isn't as good. And also it takes a lot longer for you to, for you to reap what you sow. And so compared to where, uh, to how you can just go to the grocery store and grab the food, uh, Growing it in your backyard could take months, and even then, like that's convenient. Yeah, pests can um can destroy your crops, and you might come up with nothing. Yeah, that's crazy. How about you? <laughs> um, I just I like I like the girl said in the video how like it's not talked about as often. I definitely agree with that. Like I mean, I've heard about it, but it's just not to that big of an extent. It's interesting because I didn't know like soil being like. Healthy soil is such a, like a big issue, but at the same time, like the efforts to get uh, the public to know about soil, I think is futile. Why do you think that? Because like, um, I think like issues with like climate change and stuff has to do more with like big corporations getting away with like doing damage to the earth and. People try these efforts focus on like the individual individual efforts, but like that's not enough. And so whenever I see like videos like this, I'm just I can't help but feel a little disillusioned and like pessimistic. I want to believe in it, yes, and I I, I can recognize that like um, it's well intentioned. It's just that I don't think it's enough. I. I am truly astounded because I, actually last semester, I took a class called Sustaining a Planet. And so we talked about all the ways in which um, we have to keep our planet healthy and how we can sustain it long enough that we'll be able to live here for hundreds and hundreds of years to come. And just watching this video is, it really opens your eyes and widens your perspective because Every day we walk on the soil and it's honestly like we don't even think twice about it. And so the fact that it has so much significance in our lives, in the bigger picture, um, it really just makes you think and makes you wonder like if we don't do something now, what will life be like like 50 years from now, as he was saying in the video. If you have any other video reaction requests or topics or guests that you want to see on the show, you can also comment down below. With that, make a great day. Take this joyful and stay conscious. Awesome job. You did great. Thank you. Oh, Perfect. Yes. <laughs> Switch up. Right. Awesome job. You did great. Thanks. Awesome. Thank you. you did awesome. Thank you so much. No problem. I appreciate it. Thank you. Other great. <laughs> That's okay. It's, I mean, if it's awkward, it's fine. So, but awesome job. There we go. Awesome job. <laughs> awesome job. You did amazing. Thank you. I appreciate you. Of course. I hope it goes well. Your video. No, that was great. Awesome job. You did great. Thank you so much. Amazing. And that's a wrap.